So to create select, it's really simple, all right? So I'm gonna start by adding a text. Let me say select a friend. Right click on it, give it an auto layout. For this auto layout, um, I'm gonna give it a horizontal padding of uh, 8px, vertical padding of 8px as well. Okay, great. Give it a white background. And I'm gonna change the name of the frame to select. Next, I wanna import a carrot icon. So I'm gonna use Iconify plugin. Iconify and search for carrot down. So when you search for carrot down, you're gonna see this. Just drag it in. Oh my goodness, it's so big. Um, Let's resize it to 16px. All right, now I can't find it. Um, where is it? Let me scroll out and... Okay, there it is. Let me just drag it down to here. Drag it inside the auto layout. The next thing that I want to do is to click on select and copy it. Okay, copy it and paste it here. All right. Let me remove the carrot icon from this. So let me give uh, my friend a name. So let me call this friend John. Copy and paste again. And call this Bob. Okay, let's, let me give it another one. And call another of my friend Alice. Okay, great. Now, I'm just gonna rename each of these component just to get to make it a little bit neater. Uh, friend underscore Alice, friend underscore Bob, friend underscore John. All right, select everything, right click. Add auto layout for the spacing between items change it to zero select all your friends Alice Bob and John change the um, horizontal uh, resizing from hug to fill container the next thing that I want to do is to just to give it uh, perhaps a um, horizontal uh, uh, separator, if that's what you call it. So I will click on Alice. I will click on Scrook. And click on the stroke per side selection and change it to, change it from all to bottom. Black looks a bit harsh. So I'm just gonna change it to something a bit lighter. Okay, maybe DC, DC, DC will work. Okay. DC, DC, DC. That is the uh, hex color. And I'm going to apply to Bob as well. Click on stroke. Change it from all to bottom. And then uh, change it to DC, DC, DC. And same goes for select a friend. Okay, this. Okay, great. For the default placeholder, it seems a little bit harsh. So I'm just going to change the text color from black to something much lighter. I'm still going to use DC, DC, DC. And for the uh, carrot icon, let me try and change to DC, DC, DC. All right, this one is a little bit too light so i'm just gonna change it to a7 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 same goes for the placeholder text okay now it looks a little bit better okay so i'm gonna change this and call this select um select expanded all right let me try and resize it and see what happened 
all right now it looks a little bit weird um don't worry about it so let me just change this from hug to fill container and i can see that the carrot icon is not being pushed to the right so i'm gonna do a little fix over here by clicking on this advanced layout setting for this uh, particular uh, component that i've selected change it change the spacing mode from pack to space between and now i think i'm good to go i'm just going to select the whole component and i'm going to select create component and then i'm going to select add variant all right now for all my friends over here i am going to hide them so, right so i'm going to select alice bob and john right click and i am going to click on this selection called show uh, forward slash hide okay just hide it for the selection below i'm gonna flip the carrot icon instead of uh, facing down i'm gonna right click on it and do a flip vertical all right now just to tidy things up for the property name i'm gonna call it uh expanded now let me call it uh, state okay for this i'm gonna call it default for this i'm gonna call it um selected all right now i'm just gonna add in a little bit of animations to just show you how it works click on the default state click on prototype and link this to the bottom on click i'm going to immediately change to the selected state version instead of uh, instant i'm going to change to smart animate we're going to see how the uh, effect is going to turn out okay and for the one at the bottom again same thing i'm going to select the one at the bottom select a friend connect it to the top on click change the state to default and again the animation is going to be smart animate all right uh okay for this entire component set i'm just gonna, just gonna call it select for now all right to see it in action i will have to create a small frame um, perhaps let's do a I'm just gonna draw something really simple any frame and I'm gonna find select under asset all right I found something I'm just gonna drag it inside oh before I drag it inside the frame I'm just gonna change the frame to black color and man, let me expand it a little bit and i'm gonna put this select option uh, select component inside let me click on the frame and just rename it to showcase click on prototype and click on flow starting point change the flow name to showcase as well and click on play Right, it looks a little bit small <laughs> let me change it to fit uh, to fit with no uh, fit to screen right change it to fill screen now when i click it let's see what happened right cool all right it's expanded oh, but i don't think you all can see it very clearly so let me just fit with oh man okay pardon me <laughs> let me go back to here and just uh pull this up a little bit so that you all can see the full effect of it and let me just make this entire frame a bit longer okay let me go back here fill screen all right so that's how you can create a select component using figma 
If you'd like to see more of this kind of video on how to create, you know, um, basic uh, components or even if you want to see something a little bit more advanced, uh, feel free to comment down in the uh, comment section below. Uh, let me know you what you want to see and subscribe to the channel. And, you know, hopefully if I put in any new videos, you'll be updated and just give it a thumbs up. Okay, do give you some support. I'll see you in the next video.